A still unidentified virus has led to a quarantine now at a Centennial Senior Living Facility. Seniors have been asked to stay in their rooms and loved ones want to know exactly what is going on. Contact 7's Liz Gilardi is getting answers for them tonight. Liz? Well, and Shannon, the seniors here say it has been a long four days. An unknown virus has left them stuck in their rooms and they're frustrated by what they believe is a lack of information. The only thing that we told is that there's a lot of people sick and they wanted to uh, not spread the germs and that's all that we were told. We sat outside and talked with 88 year old Beverly Stewart and her best friend, 85 year old Donna Imhoff on the phone. The ladies are in quarantine and say staff at the Centennial Senior Living Facility asked them to stay in their rooms. We are paying rent and I think the residents should have the right to know exactly what's going on. And that's the frustration. Donna says it started when she went to get breakfast, and that was a few days ago. You can't go down for breakfast because you're quarantined to your room. When we called the facility, <phone rings> a staff member explained that visitors are still allowed while the quarantine is in place. Well, the residents are under quarantine. We're asking them to stay in their rooms until we haven't had any new outbreaks for 24 hours. We also reached out to a spokesperson for the Morning Star at Jordan. She told me it's a precaution after 11 residents got sick and it's nothing out of the ordinary. The spokesperson says an unknown virus hit on Sunday, so they quote, encourage residents to stay in their rooms while they do a deep clean. This is the first they've told us they treat us like we're imbeciles, like they can't tell us anything, you know, because of HEPA. Opal. The seniors we talked to understand it's for their safety, but they just want more information about the virus or when they might be able to leave their rooms. For now, they're trying to pass the time. Just sitting with my neighbor and watching the tube. What else is there to do? And just a short time ago, we learned today was the first full day without any new outbreaks. So staff are encouraged and believe that they can resume normal operations tomorrow. Reporting live in Centennial, Liz Gilardi, Denver Summit. Sure, that's a relief. Thank you, Liz.